hello friends hope you all are doing good and in today's video we are going to see the difference between throw and throws keyword uh, when i used to prepare i used to get confused a lot between these two and in the interview like many a times it happens that i was not able to answer this very basic question so uh, like we will first solve it i will explain it to you the difference between both of them and after them after that i'll give you a short trick with which like i used to remember it okay and if you haven't watched my previous video of exception handling in that we have covered the difference between error and exceptions and how we can handle the exceptions i hope everything is okay till now and let us uh, like see the like first uh, through the program we will see the difference between throw and throws and after that we will cover the theoretical part so let me make a new java class it's a class so it will start with capital throws and throw okay this is let's make our main method and in that uh, let us try to print something uh, i have made this method okay now let us define the body the uh, like objective of um, making so like two methods in this program is that like i want to uh, tell you how the throws keyword will traverse okay it will throw the exception and how that exception is traveling inside the program so that is my motive mm, let us define this method public it is getting called from static and not returning anything print three and in that we can simply uh, print out three okay and after that it will call print two and from here like uh, we will throw the exception we will not print one or let's let's do it also so let me quickly write this program also void print two and this is printing two okay so let us run our program and see if three and two are getting printed or not yes like uh, three and two are getting printed okay this is our main method i hope uh, this is like very basic thing it will call the print three it will print three and after that printing three it will call print two and here like we are printing two okay everything is perfect till here now let us see that uh, while printing two there is an uh, like exception in this method so let's take int i and this is an exception okay what kind of exception it is this is arithmetic exception because um, like anything divided by zero will not return anything okay so with this uh, like let us now print and see uh, like is two getting printed because this is the method which is getting affected so like after three this there is an error there is an exception in this method and that's why like this is not getting printed so now like one more thing i would like to focus here is that there is only one way of uh, like uh, making use of the exception like uh, error handling can be done only through try catch block throw and throws keyword are not uh, used to uh, handle the exceptions it's just that it they used to pass and uh, like more of an logging kind of thing okay so if anyone ask you how in how many ways can you handle exception exception handling so just tell them like we can only uh, like use try catch block for it okay now okay so we are uh, handling an exception like we are getting an exception in print to method and if you see the stack uh, like print stack uh, it says that that there is an exception in main now uh, like the point to be noted here is that where is the like exception i don't see an exception in main so what is happening that when uh, the exception is handling like uh, happening in print 2 it is getting pushed to print 3 and print 3 is uh, throwing that exception into the main class so that is why like first uh, like firstly we are getting the exception in main and it is showing like it initially started from here like from the bottom so like java five yeah it like this is the method and like 10 and 14 so uh i think yeah this this happened first so like 14 10 so whatever was the 
earliest came here so with this now let us try to like throw this except exception if we uh, like if we know that this method is uh, throwing then we can use throws what kind of method like exception it is it is arithmetic exception and now what will happen that this this method will throw the exception to this because it is getting called here and to verify it let us uh, like print uh, 4 so what do you guys say like is 4 uh, is 4 will be printed so let us test that also no because after 3 uh, print 2 was called and there was an exception in this method that's why like it came back and it never printed this and uh, like in the end we will see that how uh, we can print after the like this also so now let us uh, like what we can do is we can handle uh, this exception uh, through try catch block so if i if i put it here and catch it in arithmetic exception ae a e dot print stack trace okay now like what do you guys say is four uh, should uh, like is four getting printed i think so that four should get printed um, so three and four and they like there was an exception in the second but like it printed uh, the fourth one so that is what we have discussed in our first lecture and if you haven't watched it just click on this i button and uh, like um, it will be useful for you okay now uh, like this is throwing an exception now let us like throw it to the main and uh, this is throwing arithmetic exception and now still like this this problem will not be solved let us call print to okay now it will like again it will throw the exception and we have to like throw it from here also yep so what what does throws do so throws like uh, just uh, just keep it uh, keep this thing in mind that throws throws the exception to the parent class okay that is same what is happening here like print 2 is throwing the exception to print 3 and print 3 is throwing the exception uh, to the main class okay so i hope uh, like this was clear and after this uh, let us uh, like make one more method and see the throw keyword okay so for this let us use the throw method but this is in um, what like let's make it do throw so this is a method and let me comment it out and here we will see that how uh, we can print our uh, own exceptions okay so for that let me write down the method public void static void uh, do throw okay here let's say again the same same thing that if it is getting like if it is throwing us an arithmetic exception then uh, we like rather than throwing it to the main we can print our own exception here so let us throw new and what kind of uh, exception it is it is arithmetic exception so like we already know that this this exception is going to happen that's why like we are deliberately throwing that exception okay and like nothing will be getting printed after this so let us like uh, run this see divide by zero arithmetic exception okay now let us uh, like see the theoretical difference so i have opened this geek for geeks and in that like they have explained the difference the point of usage so throw keyword is used inside the function so as we are like using throw keyword inside inside the function and throw keyword throws keyword is used with the method method name 
in the function signature so this is correct exception thrown explicitly because we are like we are expecting this error so we are explicitly uh, throwing this error and uh, like it can be used uh, to throw throws multiple exceptions so like uh, let us cover this example also so um, let us say i am experiencing that this can also throw null pointer exception so can i write null pointer exception yeah so in in this case like if it is uh, if a null pointer exception will be coming in this method so it will handle both these exceptions and uh, like what is the workaround of rather than using two exceptions can i just write the exception class so it will handle all kind of exceptions in this class correct how how can we say that this is the class because this is starting uh, from capital okay and it is coming from language see this is a class and this is extending like the parent class of exception class is throwable we have covered each and everything in the previous lecture okay the syntax exception to be thrown yeah the same example which we have used and like throws keyword names the exception so we are naming what kind of ex exception we are uh, throwing yeah like uh, the checked and unchecked exception for that you can watch my previous lecture okay i'll comment down below in the description box and uh, it will give you a clarity over checked and unchecked exceptions okay what are these in what conditions uh, we are experiencing them so that's it guys i hope uh, this video was useful for you if you have any doubt just comment down below again repeating the difference between uh, like throw and throws keyword is like throws is kind of deliberate like it's a negative word okay throws so throws uh, will be used with the method signature and it throws the exception to the parent class okay and in the end uh, who will handle uh, like not handle but who will like in the last who will hand like throw this uh, exception is the main class because uh, like through main is the point with which our whole program will get started and uh, like whatever exception at the end it will come down to main okay so that is throws and throw is something which we deliberately uh, like send it and uh, we we use throws throw keyword inside the method and uh, like our own custom exceptions uh, can be thrown through the throw keyword okay so i hope uh, guys uh, this video was useful for you and if you have found it useful just uh, hit that like button it will surely like tell me that you are enjoying this video and comment down below if you need more such kind of videos thank you guys shailesh kumar signing off bye